on today's episode of Moto Cheese. What kind of bike do you have? Dang! You got shocks, pegs, lucky. <laughs> What's up, boys? Got the Hoagie 750 watt antelope dual battery e bike to review. Let's go, Hokey. What are you gonna do to Hokey Pokey? Turn yourself around, because that's what it's all about. Definitely need some air. I'll put 20 pounds. Of course, 20 pounds is gonna be a little rougher ride on the rough stuff, but it'll give you the best battery performance. It pedals pretty easy. I mean, it's, it's basically a fat tire bike with, you know, you're pedaling the extra weight. So add yourself 70 pounds or 80, 90 pounds, whatever the bike weighs. Take a couple straps. Pick up some lights from my garage I ordered. That's what's nice about having a rack. Hopefully that'll hold it on there good. Having a step through is kind of nice too. Power it up. Go up to five. Oh, pretty torquey. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty torquey. Right, this thing wants to go. Oh yeah, she's going to go good. Zero to top speed. Go. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Bucks right along. There's another e biker. Was that a Benelli? Three wheeler. Three miles. Full battery. I think he was floored. E dragger boys. And a bumpy one. We'll do some pedal assist here. Number one looks like eight to nine miles an hour number two about 15 miles an hour number three is about 18 number four is about 21 and number five is as fast as you can pedal it koa campground coming along it's got good brakes i mean even though they're cable mechanical brakes they're really really pretty good Buffalo are in there, boys. Yeah, this thing scoots right along, 25 easily. There's five miles, still full battery. Uh, we'll break the speed limit with this. Better slow down, cheesy. Well, looks like we use one bar to battery. No, it's back. 5.4 miles must switch back and forth between the batteries somehow you think it would use them in parallel but you really can't I guess definitely don't want to go too fast on the sidewalks in an area where there's a lot of pedestrian or possible pedestrian all right Too many people on the sidewalks over here. I didn't see her blinker. <laughs> Downtown Crystal River. Oh, so the speed control does work with the throttle too. Yeah, there you go. Didn't realize. Oh, the little ones. 
No blinkers on this one. Turn signals. I won't run you over. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was quick. Yeah. Thanks. Are you on a motorcycle? Bicycle. How big is it? Well, it is going to be a little heavy. Just a little bit more. I think we got her. <laughs> I guess that'll work. Probably weighs 30 pounds. We're going for it. Oh yeah, I can feel the weight. Now I got a backrest. So I add my 235 pounds and add another 30. Nice to have one of those racks on here though, that's for sure. Still zips along even with uh, 265, 270. I say it's about 30, it could be 35. Ooh, that place is crowded. Three Sister Spring. It's because all the manatees, there's so many manatees, hundreds of manatees. <laughs> you hear the torque vibrating through that box. I kind of like the twist throttle better than the thumb throttle. Because if you rest your hand, it's almost like cruise control. Which this doesn't have. Which I don't really like anyway. Oh, I'm using this baby. So far this bike's pretty good. I like it. It's very torquey. I forgot to see how much torque it's actually doing because it has that watt meter. That 75 must be ambient temperature, not battery. It hasn't gone up, which is kind of nice. The first time I think I've seen that. I need an EZ bikes. How's it going? This is a crazy road to get across, boy. Oh, there we go. All right. You too. You too. Nice. I always got to watch. <laughs> Have a good one. Sometimes I think riding a bicycle or an e-bike is more dangerous than a motorcycle. Either way, you got to watch everything. Eight miles, use one bar out of four of the battery. Pretty happy with the torque on this. It's my high bay light's still on the back. Yep. <laughs> That cardboard box acts as an amplifier. You hear that torque when you take off. I don't pay attention to that torque meter, or that watt meter, I should say. Right now we're pulling 800 and 870 watts, roughly. Let's see what it does for watts. Oh, yeah, about 1130, 1120. Not bad. She is pretty torquey. Let me see what I get from a dead stop for torque. It has a torque limiter, but it looks like about 1130 to 1140. You can see the torque limiter wouldn't let it peak. It was bouncing back to about 800. Typically that's there for a little soft start so it doesn't chew your battery up. Oh no. Another Mustang. Still don't trust these things, boys. Walking or riding. See what I mean? 10.4 miles. Still only used one bar out of four. I don't know if we should do the power lines with this extra weight. Uh, I guess so. It's got a pretty good amount of torque. I hope I don't lose a load. Package. Box on the back. Plenty of torque. Plenty of torque for the sand. That's crazy. If I touch, if I touch my leg on a frame, the power lines are inducing power. Oh yeah. Just like I get on a motorcycle. Isn't that nuts? But it only seems to happen when there's a big power consumption 
doesn't do it at night which would make sense <laughs> I don't know what the maximum capacity is, but let's see what this says. It weighs 13 kilograms. 13 kilograms is equal to 28.66 pounds. Huh, I was close. I said 30. The next day. Still got three quarter battery left. 12 and a half miles. Ooh, it's wear down. As you guys say, I never pedal. Well, that's because I'm doing a battery test. One thing on all of these e-bikes, because I'm pedaling now, see, I'm pedaling, is they never have a high enough high gear. I mean, the fastest I could pedal is like 28. There, now it's back down to half. Let it sit overnight, and it came back to three quarter. Plus, I'm on throttle. 14 miles, two out of four battery used. Well, I might as well stop in Morgan Electric. They're going to be doing my electric for my garage. The handle's all right. Howdy. A few moments later. <laughs> One of them clamps. It's about a second and a half throttle lag. One and a half, two seconds. They all got it. 75 degrees out today. So it looks like at 25 miles an hour roughly, on a flat you're doing about 780, 790 watts. That's a little hill, went up to 800. So I guess you can calculate your watt hours to that. Like I said, if you're gonna go 15, 20, then you're hardly using any watts. So your battery will go way longer for your batteries. Hang on boys. That was a knee dragger there. Brakes a little squeaky. I noticed if you pedal even really slow, it'll make you go as fast as the PAS. Most of the other ones you have to have like a little bit of pressure for the PAS to work, pedal assist. Yeah, see, I'm pedaling nowhere near as fast as 20 miles an hour, but I'm on four, so it's 20. Kind of like that. It's like I still get my exercise. How's it going? A lot of roots. These fat tires absorb the bumps pretty good. I am pedaling slowly, but the motor is doing most of work. I did hit that kickstand, that center stand once. I guess I could see if you're gonna do a lot of off-road and where that might hit something. 18 miles. Still got two or four battery left. Oh, a couple mud holes. Wow, this is pretty thick jungle. Maybe we'll see a boar or a bear. As long as we don't see any no see them. They're like gnats, boy, and they sting. Yeah, I hit that center stand a couple times already. Ooh, this is gonna do it. Watch. No, nope. yeah, a little bit. Pretty rough trail. So that center stand, nice to have, but it's already hit several times. Huh? I fought with that bike, it's hard. <laughs> well, it's got battery. <laughs> so 
So yeah, pedaling, I'm on zero, let's see. This bike pedal's pretty easy. A lot of people ask that, how hard do they pedal? Not very hard, but you know, they're heavier, so it's gonna be a little harder than a bike with no batteries and motor. The old mall, Rural King. Hey now. Twenty miles, still half battery. Huh, what the heck is this? Uh oh, a crab plant. Never been down in here, I don't think. Mmm, smells good. Pelicans like that boat. Must be a lot of fish left over. <laughs> Fly, pelican. <laughs> Ooh, he was scuffing the water. Scuffing the water again. So my GoPro messed up again, so I don't know how much video I have. We got 26.9, one bar out of four, still cranking. I'm doing pretty good on the sand. We'll hit the power line quick. Woo sugar sand. Does well. And this is really powder. really sucking down the juice because it's super powdery these fat tires handle it pretty good see how it does in the mud boys <laughs> I don't think so I think we'd get stuck in that mud Whoa. Still quite a bit of battery juice left. I think it's giving me a lot of torque. So my impressions on this bike, I think it's pretty good. It's very torquey. Ranks up ranks up top with all the other 750 watt bikes that I've reviewed. This ranks right up top. Probably top three. And I'll bet this will do another 10 miles, no problem. Kitty! 27.9 miles Well, let's charge her up so we can have another full day of fun e-biking. That's right Chow Yang 20 by 4 inch fat tires 20 psi aluminum rim stainless steel spokes 160 millimeter disc brake lithium battery charger 54.6 volts at 2 amps another battery charger same as the first because this is dual battery the batteries and the keys for the batteries this battery that goes back under the seat is a 12.5 amp hour 48 volt 600 watt hour battery and then this battery that goes under the frame is an 11.6 amp hour 48 volt 558 watt hour it's 23 24 a little more than 24 amp hour that'll definitely get you some miles so that's everything that comes in the box they definitely packed it pretty nice let's get this handlebar on here huh, this one's got a center stand boys looks like a bay fang 750 watt hub it does have mechanical brakes on the front and the rear Get these handlebars on here. Eyeball them forks with the handlebars and get those lined up and tighten up the neck on this. Boy, with that center stand makes it easy. Put this front tire on one, two, three. Now I'll take this keeper off. Now it works out nice with that center stand, putting a tire on. Aircraft aluminum frame. 
some decent welds there. Looks like you could put a front rack on this. Steel fenders. Right and left pedals. Righty right hand. Lefty left side. So this suspension has open if you want the compression of the front forks. That'll lock the front forks from going that way. If it's like that, unlock it. Let's get the battery in. The battery that goes in the frame is that funky key there. Pretty tight fit. Then this key, you gotta go up with the seat a little. Put your fender and your light on here. They even have Loctite on these bolts, even that one. Put on your rear supports for the front fender. Check the clearance. We're gonna have to raise it up a little bit here. Looks like all the way up on that groove gives it the proper gap. Got a nice big rear rack on here. Nice rack. And that's it. Let's get these batteries charged. That's how it's done, boys. So according to the book, charging time is six to nine hours. So we'll be back in six to nine hours. 350 pound capacity, 6061 aluminum frame. Sort of powered on, you hold that. Up and down, changes your gear speed. It is already set to miles per hour. Let's see what the max speed is. So we're gonna fix that. Shut it off, hold the button down, turn it on, then instantly hold these two. That's your max speed. You're gonna turn that all the way up, 72. Then hit the middle button again, it'll go size of the tire, miles per hour or kilometer, and then that's it. We'll set that, power the button, and then we're going to power it off. And we're going to power it back on. We we'll see what we get for a max speed now. Run the speed up to five. There. See, it takes a little. Now it seems like once it does it, when you hit it, throttles, twist throttle. So we should get about 28, 29 miles an hour. If you hold the up button, it turns the headlight on, hold it down a couple seconds. There's a running light. Brake light. Then to turn the headlight off, hold it down again for a few seconds. Hold the down button for a couple seconds. It'll give you push assist. If you cycle through the middle button, it'll show you average mile per hour, maximum miles per hour, and back to the main screen. So you have your battery. We'll leave that your battery temperature. And the wattage you're using. When you squeeze the brakes, that comes on. You have a horn here. Or a bell, I should say. That's about it for the controls. So if you're interested, I'll have the links down below with a discount code for you guys. And I think it's a pretty good bike. Decent value. The prices of these are coming down. I mean, for dual battery. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products to use are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.